Hello everyone and welcome to Maximum Plays Games. Last time we found out that Tyrannosaurus went extinct and it was it was rather disturbing. They're, they're such beautiful, graceful creatures with tiny arms and very large teeth, but they are no more. Very sad. Anyways, uh, this time we're gonna be taking another random team in the pit. This is uh this is a terrible team. It, it's just what what was I think? Why does this ex I made this happen? Anyways, I also, I, like, I was just looking at my inventory, and I mean, like, I got a lot of humans and stuff, but, like, I only have one Octoclops. I only have one, and I mean, I, I want more. I need more. I want another Troll Mom. More Cobalts would be nice. I could just have a team of Cobalts. I got plenty of zombies. It's like, I want more. More stuff. More game. I want to continue playing this game. So pretty soon here, uh, we're going to head back out into the wild, like, in a few episodes. I don't know. It's just... We'll take it slow. Eventually, they'll add new content to this game. They're working hard on it. It's almost here, and the next update's gonna be huge, so, you know. Hey, look, it's my kobold friends. Can I join them Not up on there? No? Okay. I'll just, I'll just go into the pit. Yeah, we're just gonna be playing in the pit this episode. And I'm gonna shoot the crap with the camera for 40 to 45 minutes, and uh, we'll see where that takes us. So! Oh, okay. Um, I kinda gotta, like... I gotta pay at least a little bit of attention here to, to what I'm doing. So I today just went to go see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and I gotta say it was it was really really quite good. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was, thought it was a great movie. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything about it because it literally just came out today, so I'm not I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm just gonna for all those who who like. Uh, superhero movies, or the MCU specifically, I'll just I'll let you watch it whenever you can. Uh, I just, I think it was good, I thought it was very, very great, great movie. I thought it was, I thought it was great. So yeah, that's, that's my opinions on that. Uh oh. You had me at concussion. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, no question. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk all the way out here, because I don't think, I don't think I can be reached out there. Uh, I'm gonna start moving in. Front, front lines here. Get in there, boys. Uh, might not be a good idea to move up there with my octoclops so quickly, but I'm gonna do it. Forget it. Uh, there, there it goes. All, all the damage. Nice. He has been stunned. Ooh, oh, why? Why so much damage? Poor Titus! Jeez! Just getting destroyed right now. Like, dude. Okay, start, start killing these monks. I hate them and I want them to be demolished. Alright, let's back up here a little bit. Just right, right in there. Freaking fart on that cupcake. Make him, make him taste terrible. Boom! Nice, good, good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, don't, don't send the troll after my poor baby. My poor, oh, oh. Okay, this, this is fine. It's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna work on this. Uh, let's, let's go over there. Mm. Yeah, I guess we wanna get some damage on that spider. Oh. Heck, I'll move my mascot in there and get some hits off. Nice. Ah, uh, dang it, you missed slightly. I think the cupcake's gonna die next round because I'm poisoned to death. Oh god, my poor kobolds. Yep, poisoned. Alright. You guys worry about this fellow. Ah, oh, crap, okay, I guess I'll just walk around with my mushroom because I can't get through these spider webs. Oh, come on! Okay, I gotta back my kobolds off if they live. Oh, crap. Well, that's a little unfortunate, I gotta say. By a little, I mean quite a bit, actually. Uh, might not be a good idea to do that just yet. Yeah, this 
like this cobalt right here is gonna not be having the greatest of times. Launch right, right, just stay where you are, neck kicker. You, you gotta do your job, job, get that against Deep English. You're gonna do your job just fine. Poor Harvey and his brother Harvey, uh, however, uh, uh, there's there's now one less Harvey on the battlefield. Oh my god, so much damage! Holy crap. Alright. Just get in there. Kill. Dilate. Okay, we gotta back up here. I'm gonna get close to that unicorn horn that I, I laid there. I don't even care. Hey, look, we're fine. Come on. Nice. 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 Yes, you damage to yourself. I mean, I don't think we're gonna make it very far with this team, like. I'm not feeling the Lucio, you know, Lucio's are like, yo, look at this team, we're gonna do great. When I look at this team, I think, oh god, oh, I'll make it end. That's such a bad thing. Uh, you, you missed that kicker, I don't, I don't know if uh, you've been told, but you, you, uh, you missed. Do your damage. Yeah, you missed again, that kicker. Oh, that's that's twice now. Come on. Oh, jeez. Whoo, just barely living. Okay, I'm gonna leave my cobalt to try and kill this this troll. Okay, I have full confidence that he shall succeed. Please, if, if he doesn't kill him. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, look who's gonna die. Now you're gonna die because you failed to do a decent amount of damage to this punk. Okay. Right now, you should... You know what? You, you go kill him. Sparkleberry, do the do your damage. I have to keep I don't remember the names of all of my freaking characters. I got so many of them. Well, both of our kobolds are dead. That's lovely. By lovely I mean god dang it. That's my current current mood, god dang it. Yay for electrobots being immune to poison. It makes sense! This game makes sense! I love it! Ow, it looked painful. He's bleeding from several orifices that's not good for your health. Oh, man, he's still alive. Yay, poison! Yay, poison! Oh, it works every time, the power of poison. Truly a devastating feature of, of the nature, I guess. Natural poisons, yay! I mean, everybody complained about like, oh, you, humanity's lost their connection with nature, it's so, it's, it's so sad. Well, guess what? Everything is made in nature. The Xbox I'm playing is made out of uh, trees. <laughs> the Xbox I'm playing is made out of trees and stones and various other features like like uh, monkeys my xbox is made of monkeys believe it or not true story look it up i i read it on wikipedia it must be true you gonna do take five damage that's what you're gonna do boy and oh god they can reach me that's uh oh i got hit in the face with a strawberry cauliflower no my poor boy 
or girl, I don't really know. Like, it, it's kind of debatable what m most of the genders of the creatures are. In, like, dang it, I accidentally poisoned myself. I should not have done that. Uh oh. Oh, hello there. Back up. Unibro. <laughs> Instead of Unibrow, Unibro. Alright, let's just, let's just worry about it. It's okay, almost dead. Poor Tiny. Tiny compared to the rest of her team is pretty darn tiny. Uh, should I just get in there? Yes, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna lose anyway pretty soon, so it's like, whatever. Yay, poison! Well, this is gonna hurt. Oh, ooh, haha! -ha! Confusion! Okay. Well, Sparkleberry's froze, and that's, uh, no cool. Time to die. Yep, that's indeed time to die. Come on, quit missing! Here come the bad geez. Ooh. Ooh. I'll say it again. Ooh. Yeah. Run away! Ooh, nice crit. That yeah, did nothing. Oh my god, he's, he can go so far because he's got a like a pen for his weapon. It's so light. It's so beautifully lightweight. Oh, fart on him, I guess. Not much else we can do. Nice! Ooh, 16. Pretty good. I'm just gonna start yeah, sucking. Run away! Run away when you can! And continue shooting horns at this person and missing! You know, I've never seen any of these red barrels explode. Uh. Alright, well. Not much we can do about this. We just wait for our demise. Come on, and blow him up. Uh -oh. Ooh, okay. Well, get in there and poison them. <laughs> All we got is our unicorn. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Ooh. He lives another turn! Get in there! And uh, I'll start moving downwards, I suppose. Boom! You missed. And there he goes. Um. Oh, one of them is bleeding. I have a chance to actually get a kill here. Come on. That that that's good damage. Oh, they're fast. Oh, I didn't think they would come this fast. Oh dear. Oh, did you dear? I mean, the best we can hope for is... Whoa! Those gonna blow up? Okay, hold on a sec. I gotta see if that's gonna blow up. Let me, let me get in here. Nice! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! I got close because I didn't want them to leave the barrels, but I didn't know it was gonna blow up next turn. Holy crap, that does a lot of damage. Now, uh, come over here to these explosive barrels. Uh-oh. Ow. Well, I'm dead. That was rather short-lived. Terrible team. Just, just terrible. I blame my team. They were bad. I, I'm just, just random generation it makes it more difficult. Okay. Like, okay. I want, I want the soft blade. 
All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly generate a random team. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so uh, <laughs> I've generated another team. I think this one's even worse. I I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it happens. What, what, what is this? <laughs> Well, we still got the Iron Guard and the Cobalt from last time. Troll Mob's cool, I guess, but like, my alive for now, uh, very wonderful headpiece you got there, buddy. You know, protect him from this mushroom that might do something to him. Do they, have any, they don't even have any archers. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? My Troll Mom, it's like, I can't, I can't even get through. Alright, just move the heavy archers. Just start spawning babies they can get through. Oh, here come the bad boys. Can I, can I reach? No, I can't. Let's group up here, let's group up here. Yeah. Oh, the hail of oblivion rains down upon you. Ooh, that wasn't good. All right, now's the time to flank. It begins the flanking process. Yeah, I can't even do anything here. Just gonna protect the archers. Send the babies. Send the baby squad! Ooh, Pixie making a mistake trying to come after my fire resistant kobolds. You are no match! You've activated my trap card! Yeah, die! Yeah. Babies cause mayhem. And quit blocking my unicorn! Dude, dude, it's Nocturnia! It's Crypt of the Necrodancer! It's a bat woman who is named Nocturnal something. It's basically just Nocturna from Crypt of the Necrodancer, alright guys? That's what it is. Alright, we're getting separated. I don't like this. Nice! Beautiful freeze. Uh oh. Alright, what do we got? What's our game plan here? Shooting at these bastards. They'll die eventually. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Ow. That's all I can say right now. Oh god, am I cornered? There's oh, that's not good. On the babies. Frickin' quit blocking me. Oh god. Oh god. Why was my team so bad? Look at this team, we're gonna do horrible. 
Yeah, you know what? This works. Um, move in, I guess. Oh, the dodge, freaking dodging my troll mom fights, like, come on. We're doing a decent bit of damage, like... Ooh. Ooh, that's no good. Alright, it's time to flee. Flee. Yeah, troll mom just getting wrecked over here, but... Luckily all the people around her are super weak, so... That's good. Come on, freaking die already. Ooh, shout out to Keegan. Shout out to Keegan, everybody. Good, good shout out, boys. Right, you. Get in there. You, run away. This far away land that we call Land Land. Nice. Frickin' stop it. See these troll babies, dude. They help. Alright, come up, come up to there. Come up to these regions. Which we call a home. Come on! Neck kicker. Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh my god, so much. Alright, we need to end you. Oh, they're going after, they're going after my poor, my poor kobold boy. They're going after poor kobold. Nice double kill! Oh, okay. Yeah, my troll mom's dead. Rip! My troll mom's almost dead too. Uh, run away. Like, how are we gonna take out these Cyclopes? Like, come on, man. What do we even do? Oh my god, kill it! Kill Nocturnia! It must die! Ooh. Oh, you're so close. Oh, you're so close to that sweet level up. Like, come on, let's at least make it past the first round, guys. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, rip, Cobalt. We will remember you forever. Yes, tear them apart, my children. Yes, yes. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy the demise of my enemies who have slain my brothers. Yet again, Cobalt's dead in the first round. If like we end up, I'm sure we're gonna lose this next round. So when I generate the next random team, probably the last of the episode, let's freaking hope. And we all get damn kobolds, and if we do, let's, let's at least get more of them, so that they were- Oh god. They have kobolds, and archers, and whatnot. Lots of- lots of squishy targets, luckily. Alright. Start pooping out babies. Or dog. Yeah, that hair troll's scaring me. Ooh, beautiful damage, beautiful damage. And they slowly come our enemies. Attempting to murder us. But they will not. Come on, freeze some of them. Freeze some freezes. Well, okay, go, I guess. Oh god, they're coming. Oh, oh gee. They're, yeah, they're, they're going for it. Ooh. Back 
back up. I must defend. Defend from the kobolds that attack us. Alive for now, but he's not gonna be fairly soon. I'm gonna run at risk kidding. Yeah, screw it. Looks like we're not gonna be around for long. Ah, they're tearing apart their own mother. This is horrible. The doctor clops are evil. God dang it! Neck kicker, you're so bad at your job. Run away. Villains are coming to slay us. Wait, what are you aiming for? You missed. Oh god. Uh, yeah, you shall pay for that, and meanwhile, he's dead. Rip. Uh, there's only two of us left. Not looking great. Well, that didn't do anything. Please, there we go. Alright. Ah, crap. Go after this one. Yeah, Nick Kicker, he just hide up there in the corner. He'll be great, bud. Nice, nice. See, I told you you'd do great. You're going places. He's freaking. Oh, it's octopodes. No, I actually it's better to go to this side. Just, just stay hidden up there, neck kicker. You're doing great. Okay, that was that was not as great. Uh, do better, please. I'm asking you nicely to do better, please. Alright. Okay. Please stop. Keep them where they are. Keep them doing damage. Well, that blew up, but... No one was within range. Uh oh. Ooh. Is there any way I can move? No. Alright, let's hope we can get that cobalt killed. Oh god. There's nowhere I can go. I'll walk towards him with my unicorn. It'll scare him. Yes! Yes! The cobalt killed. Gertrude. Oh. Just, just get right in there. Get right in his face. Make it move. No, oh, you missed. You missed. I had one job there, kicker. Come on, man. Ooh. She remains a living. Just a little longer. Just a tad longer. Come on, get some kills. That was beautiful. What a beaut. Oh, well, this is the end. Oh, this is the end. Alright, just get in there, try and kill this punk. Do it. Make the shot, boy! Oh, you did it! I'm so proud of you. You did the best you could. You did the best you could. Uh, get a little more damage. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes! I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of my unicorn friend. He did the best he could. Just, just keep running away. Run as fast as you can. 
Oh jeez. Oh, he's dead. Rip. Oh, that was rather violent. Uh, oh my. Well, again, we have succeeded in losing. Dude, long butter. What a guy and friend. He's 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 quite friendly. Friend. All right. Um. Yeah, I think we got time for one more. So let me go ahead and really quickly assemble another team. I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got my last team here. Neck kicker returns for the third time, along with cauliflower for the the second. But we have uh, good old Abishek the troll and Atlas the cyclops here. So we got some we got some tanking power this time. So. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna wreck some fools. I'm ready. Come on, let's let's one more one more good fight. It's true, clowns do taste funny. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we can pull off before we die. Cause we're gonna die. We're most definitely going to die. We always die. Let's pull in this direction. Beautiful, beautiful shape. Yes! Oh, wow. Yeah, sure. It's right in the middle there. Nice. Ooh. You've sealed your fate, volume. Swiftly. Yeah. I don't know if I want to move that close because it's like uh, my Cyclops has an explosive weapon, which is very explosive. in existence for much longer. <laughs> yes. It's, it's funny. I think it's, it's rather funny. It's humorous. How I'm going to kill him because death is hilarious. It, it, it's not actually. Death is horrible. Rip. Rip your face. Yeah. That wasn't very good. Right, right in the center of all of them. Just... Okay, or you can miss. That's, that's fine, neck kicker. It's okay, I forgive you. Okay, then. Oh, uh... Right in there, just go. Though he was netted, freaking Abishek just tossed him in the air. I mean, I guess he wasn't netted to the ground, he was just tied up in his own feet, so I guess that would work. That makes sense. Whoa. That mascot getting ready to blow. tearing through these guys. Like, we're doing quite good. I worry about our lowering health, though. I'm not sure if that. 
Oh, okay, I guess you just missed. Two damage, nice. <sighs> okay, uh, it hurt him. Yes, do, do that. I, I, I don't have much to say, we're just cleaning him up, man. We're just splitting up, doing the damage, making sure people who do lots of damage to specific people are doing a good job, you know, they're taking care of their counters. The way it's meant to be. I just want to point out that I think it's amazing how everything in this game is like hand drawn by not like hand drawn as in on paper, but like everything you see here is all your boy Dan Paladin. The guy, the man, the one and only. I mean, okay. So let's let's talk about this. I don't think I've ever talked about this before. I'm gonna give you guys my top three favorite artists of all time. Okay? So, in no particular order, you got Dan Paladin, who, I mean, it's just, I, I want, Dan Paladin, the reason I say him is because I want to draw like Dan Paladin more than any other person. His art style is, it's just the best. They're, 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 it, it, look at this, look at this, it's beautiful, it's hilarious, it's, I love it, it's so good, ah. And it, like, it, it's also cool, like, Dan Paladin has, like, seen some of my art that I've drawn, probably, because he liked, well, my, my tweets, or where I drew some, some, some of the things he drew. And also he's commented on some of his, he's so cool! I love him! No homo, though. That, because, I don't know, I mean, I don't, I don't know if Dan Paladin is married or anything, or a straight man, I, I don't care. He's, he's, he's the best person ever, it's like, I, I'm not, I'm no homo. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, Dan Paladin is like probably my favorite artist, but not in no particular order, like I said, because there are other two artists that I really like. So there's uh, your boy Mark Crilly, uh, who is a YouTube artist who uh, does American manga, and he um, has done the graphic novels slash manga uh, Miki Falls and, and Brody's Ghost, which are both fantastic. I've read them both. They're, they're really good. Uh, Mark Curley is also a writer. He wrote it and he did the art for it. It's really good. Also, uh, the reason I like his art is because I watched his videos on YouTube back when, like, manga and anime were, like, new to America and people were, like, you know, deviant art was like, oh, dude, what, what's this art style? It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so I looked it up, and he's got hundreds of tutorials on how to draw stuff, so he, he taught me a lot about drawing through his videos. So thanks, Mark, you're, you're a great guy. He's, he's going places, and if, you guys should read his work, because it's, it's good. It's like teen drama stuff, kind of, but it's actually exciting instead of stupid, because there's normal, there's magic involved and crap like that, so yeah. The third, third favorite artist, not saying that he's my third favorite as in, um, you know, it's like number three out of the no in particular. Just the third one I'm mentioning, God put Bob Ross in there. So obviously everybody knows him as the king of the ASMR. He invented it, basically. That's not true, he didn't invent it. It's always existed, it's just that we discovered it. Because Bob Ross has a soothing voice and he paints things and it makes nice noises and he scrapes things with his, his, his little paintbrush and that's good. And I didn't know what ASMR was when I was a kid, but I watched Bob Ross and I was just like, oh, his voice is so soothing and his art is really good. So yeah, I mean, that's obviously the reason why. And then obviously, you know, freaking sense, oh God, my poor mushroom, get, get up there. Um, so then, you know, they, they started streaming, like, Bob Ross on Twitch, so that's how a lot of people know him. Uh, but, I mean, obviously then there's just his art, like, his art really gave me an appreciation for, for landscapes, and there's all the pretty cute little animals of the world, and oh my god, my mushroom's gonna die next to her, so just get in there! Do what you can. Are we on round three? No, it's round two. I'm like, well, this feels like we're going... We're not going quite as fast as I want to be. We gotta, we gotta pick up the pace here. Alright. Get it! Nice! Nice poison. Oh, well, I killed him. 
We killed him because he, he didn't want to die at the hands of the enemy, so we took him out ourselves. It's what he would have wanted. I know it. I know it. He's a hero. So yeah, those are uh, three of my favorite artists that, that come to mind immediately. Uh... This is uh, this has been WatchMojo.com. If you uh, don't agree with their list, tell me to go kill myself in the comments. Okay, thanks. Bye. Subscribe for more top ten lists. You know what, dude? Let's do more. Let's do more lists. Uh, okay. Top. What what is like a, I, I make lists in my head. I do that. It's fun. It's fun to be like, yeah, I like this person more than that person. So I'm gonna be like, yeah. That that's my favorite of that. Okay. Um. Top. The top five narrators. Top five narrators. Um. Okay. Uh. Top five narrators. I can actually give this an order. Okay. Number. Uh. Who, who should I rank where? Oh god. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. I don't know if we're gonna live this round. Holy crap. Okay, uh, num number five, Jim Weiss. Uh, because, uh, mo probably most of you people know that I'm homeschooled. I've talked about it a lot in my gaming videos. I'm a homeschooled boy, and uh, for my, my curriculum, my parents had me listen to uh, The Story of the World, which is a children's history book for, for my history stuff. And, um, uh, I didn't want to read it because it, it's big and boring, so there was uh, an audiobook version narrated by Jim Weiss, so he basically narrated my history, my childhood, like, history lessons, and I think that's pretty cool, and his voice is very nice, and he does, like, children's stories, so if you, uh, if you like children's stories, go look up Jim Weiss, he, he does good, he, 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 he has good voice, just, just saying, he has good voice. Um... No, number four, Jeff Steitzer, because he's the Halo announcer, and God, if you don't, like, have shivers going down your spine in a, just, just the best way, when, like, you know, it's like, oh, double kill, oh, it's friggin' believable, like, if you, if you're not like, oh, God, his sweet, honeysuckle voice, then there's something wrong with you, he's got a beautiful voice, and you should love it, so yeah, Jeff Steitzer, number... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore, okay? I'm still tired from yesterday. Remember in last yesterday's Necrodancer episode, I was complaining about, oh my god, I have so much work to do. Well, I did all that work, and now I'm, like, super tired. Rip Hair Troll, he's dead. Uh, we're probably gonna lose this round. That's a little unfortunate. I am saddened by this. Uh, okay, number number three, Will Stamper, who narrates this game and Battle Black Theater. His voice is great. He, he's, so, he's a sexy man with, who used to be bald. I don't think he is anymore. Uh, I love him. He's a great person. Um, I don't know. I mean, Stamper's funny, dude. Like, the thing is, so, fun fact, obviously, like most people, I don't know why I keep saying obviously, because it's not the case. For me, and I'm sure many people who are fans of the Behemoth, I first heard about Stamper uh, when he narrated Battle Black Theater, so I'm like, okay, this dude makes YouTube videos, apparently, so I'm gonna look him up, and God, it opened up a whole new world of possibilities to me. Some of his videos, man, it's funny! It's so funny, I loved it, it's great. Amber makes funny, funny videos, and, uh, you know, through that I, like, I learned about, you know, ONENG, Chris, and, uh, probably led to me finding out about the Game Grumps, which I watch daily. And you know, Psychic Pebbles and Rice Pirate and all the Sleepy Captain members, even though uh, freaking Stamper isn't part of Sleepy Cast anymore. Yeah, all those guys, great, and a few other people that I'm not even gonna mention because uh, my channel is for kids, and I don't want you guys. Because I know, I know. Okay, I know that there's like some like eight year olds or so who watch my videos, and uh, I'm not gonna mention some names because you don't want to look up some of these guys' content. Uh, it's uh, it's not it's not good for kids. And it, I mean, even Stamper's content isn't really good for kids. You know what? All the people I'm talking about don't even don't even bother looking them up. You know, all the people that I mentioned who are close to Stamper. Anyways, back to narrator. Number two narrator, Morgan Freeman. Uh, he talks about penguins in this one movie, and it's really good. And you know that movie? Now you see me where he's like the magician dude. Morgan Freeman is like, he just narrates that movie. That's the only reason he's there, is to explain things to people. It's like, Morgan Freeman, dude. 
his voice is beautiful. There's so many memes about how beautiful his voice is. It is just so pure and wholesome. It's just, oh, and he's, he's, he's just such, he's just, I want him to be my grandfather, you know? It's, it, it, it's, he's that kind of guy. Another person I want to be my grandfather, who is the number one spot, is Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry is a genius of a man. He's such a wonderful individual. He actually knows Morgan Freeman. And oh my god, we've been going for 50 minutes. This is going to be a long episode. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to die soon. We'll die in the next 10 minutes. But yeah, Stephen Fry is just so great. He's got a great personality. He narrated Little Big Planet, which is just my favorite game ever. It, uh, I, there's so many good things I could say about Stephen Fry. Like, I think he narrates The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie, uh, which the movie isn't, like, even remotely as good as the books are, but apparently he knew uh, the guy who wrote Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm pretty sure the guy who... Okay, here's the thing. I can never remember if the guy who wrote Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy's name is Adam, Adam Douglas or Douglas Adams with an S at the end. I can never remember if it's Adam Douglas or Douglas Adams. I don't know which it is. I'm sorry, I can't remember. It's one of the two. Uh, I'll have to go grab my copy of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and see. Okay, I think if I just get a hit, I'll level up. Nope, it didn't work. Nice, super damage. Now look, another Sparkle Berry. Well, if I live this turn, I think I'll level up with my Cyclops and that'll be just cool. I'm not gonna live, all right. Oh no, he got turned on the last hit. No fair. Look how close he is. Oh, come on. And you missed while well, he's dead. Unbelievable, that's just, that's not cool. He had one health left and he would've leveled up and made a comeback of the century, but no. And now my unicorn's the last one alive again. Anyway, yeah, Stephen Fry, uh, He's a wonderful man, and yeah, it's it's cool, you know. You know, I, okay, I want to point out something. I want, like, uh, okay, a lot of people think that if you point out that somebody is a minority, that somehow makes them, like, a better person, which is, is not the case. So some people might be like, oh, you should point out Stephen Fry is, like, super gay, because he's an innovator, because he, he doesn't let anybody, you know, like... Uh, get in his way because he's a minority. But it'd be, then it'd just be like me saying like, oh, Morgan Freeman is black, so that makes him a better person. Like, come on, guys, that's that's not how that works. You can be, you can be a white man, you can be a black man, you can be a straight man or a gay man, a man of faith, a man without faith. You can be a man or a woman. You could be a child or an elderly person. Uh, it doesn't matter. Everybody has the same potential to be good, so everyone be nice to each other. And just, we're all people. There's no black people or white people or men or women. We're all just humans. And <laughs> that was my top five narrators. That just that was just a roller coaster of weird emotions. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this wacky episode of Pit People. Uh, I barely even paid attention to the game. I was just talking and being stupid. I'm gonna go uh, mix my next song, which uh, if you like Pit People, I just want to say you might want to tune into my main channel on Sunday because I may or may not be doing some music that Pit People fans would like really, really enjoy. Yeah, so tune into that. I'll see you guys on Monday with an episode of Crypto the Necrodancer, and I will see you guys on Tuesday with another episode of Pit People. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I say that way too much, and I'll see you all in the next episode. All right, bye.